generally there is nothing which will stop the bullet completely nothing is bulletproof now there is a difference between the hard ballistic and a soft ballistic but this particular the soft ballistic is more like a bullet resistance which slows down the speed of the bullets as soon as it hit the plane so say can we come up with the ballistic vest with some natural fiber in it a blend which will add some comfort and other properties to the existing ballistic vest the object of the ballistic vest is first of all to stop penetration so you don't want to draw blood but more importantly also you don't want to have what they call blunt trauma injury at the back so in other words the bullet doesn't actually go through the fabrics but it has such an impact that it mushes up your insides and you actually bleed to death internally so you've got two problems you've got to solve the object of adding the wool is not to stop the bullet but to make the Kevlar work more efficiently so you can actually sort of see that that's what it started off looking like there's the front of it and that's what it ends up looking like. You can see here the crisscross striations where it's actually got the imprint of the fabric and down the edge you can see the striations where the bullet has pushed through multiple layers and it's certainly formed into a nice mushroom shape. Up till now only these vests were tested for the dry conditions. But since last two years the government and all the defense industry they are saying we have to test the vest in the wet condition as well. If you got a Kevlar vest and if it is in the wet then it bullet can easily pass but there is no frictional force that not enough frictional force to stop the bullet. So it more you know act as a water act as a lubricant. The wool absorbs water and when it absorbs water it swells and when it swells the gaps between the yarns closes down. Sorry, you can increase the friction from the bullet when it passes through the pack. Benefit is there for both the Australian wool growers as well as the Australian industry. We are manufacturing onshore, so we can manufacture in Australia for the export order. So our manufacturers, and at the end, it is soldiers. If this fabric is really comfortable, lightweight, soldiers will enjoy wearing it, but currently it is very heavy.